Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Hey, we're out in the shop again, and today we're going to do an unboxing. Uh, I don't know if it's really an unboxing, but Big Mike bought a new generator from Harbor Freight, and we're going to unbox it, check it out, uh, get it running, and test it out to make sure it can run all my equipment out here in the shop. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, or will and uh, but I'm kind of excited uh, Harbor Freight came out and Black Friday and uh, they went $200 down on Black Friday on this uh, generator right here now I did see it um, being used before on other channels I know uh, Jason over at the Crockers he had one when he was building his tiny house up on the mountain and stuff like that. And he abused the crap out of this thing. So I'm going to check it out. That's why, actually, that's why I bought it. Because uh, I seen him test it out. And he built that entire tiny house using this, this same generator. So uh, that's the reason I wanted it. Been wanting it for a while now. Uh, but when they came down on the price and stuff like that, I snatched it up. So... Hey, Black Friday was good to Big Mike, so here we go. All right, so this is the Predator Super Quiet Inverter Generator to 3500. Um, it's got uh, a 3000 watts. Uh, like I said, it's super quiet. Uh, it runs, it's supposed to run for 11 hours on a tank of gas. So I don't know if we're gonna test it out for 11 hours, but that's pretty good. Every time we go to YouTube meetups, uh, we bring the trailer, and if we go to a place where, like when we went to Come On's for Freedom Weekend, uh, we had to, we probably ran 15 gallons of gas in the generator we had to rent with the trailer. Uh, and I figured we paid uh, for the entire weekend, I think it was like uh, $75 to rent the generator plus the $15 worth of gas uh, to fill it up. So uh, after a while, if we go to meetups and stuff like that where there's no electricity or anything like that, we'll use this one and hopefully within a period of time, it'll pay itself off so we don't have to rent a generator. So let's get this thing unboxed. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna use my trusty buck knife that I got from Umberto uh, years ago. Um, I always think about him every time I use it. So uh, if you don't know who Umberto is, a good friend of ours, uh, he had passed away uh, and that just broke my heart. He was a great guy. All right. Let's As with all things, you know I remember, I got the instructions out right here, okay? Oil funnel. RV ready. All right. 
adapter kit for an RV. It comes with a tool kit. It just smells brand new. And the only reason I'm doing it up on the table is so that uh, I can uh, get a good shot of this when I'm doing it. Let's just get all this off of there. There we go. Hope they don't want the box back if something's wrong with it. And it's not light, guys. It is not light. Let's get all this out of here. You know, Big Mike, I make a mess, but this Terry will make me clean this thing up later on. There we go. So there's the generator. Before you use fill gas here, added fuel, add fuel stabilizer, open access panel, and add engine oil. Right there on the top, guys. All right, so we're gonna go over the uh, control panel here and the components. So uh, right here has got a 120 uh, VAC 30 amp receptacle. Um, it's got two circuit breakers right here, 120 amp and 130 amp. Uh, it's got a 120, uh, 20 amp receptacles right here, both of these. Um, it's got a DC 12 volt receptacle, and then it's got a uh, 8 amp DC breaker right there. Um, it has the on off, so of course, this goes over to start, and these right here are parallel outlet circuits right there. It's got the start button right there, the starter button, 
And this right here is the uh, on off, emergency on off or economy switch. I'm sorry, I, I messed that one up. So that's the economy switch right there. So those are the, the breakers uh, and the receptacles for this. This is the output and overload. And also tells you if you're low on oil and stuff like that display right there. So um, it's got a lot of safety things on this thing. Uh, that's really uh, is, is another reason why, because I was researching it on uh, on the internet and this is a really good generator and it's supposed to be really, really quiet. So right now we're gonna go to uh, filling the oil before we do our first start on it. So let's get that. We'll turn this thing around and get to the uh, panel I have to take off for the oil. Okay, so I've got this propped up because when I try this thing, I don't trust this thing right here. So I'm gonna make a mess of this. So what I'm gonna do is it came with this screwdriver in the tool kit. And what it does, it has a Phillips side and a flat tip side. So that's kind of convenient. I'm gonna take off the, the door for the oil. Put that to the side. I'm gonna take out the dipstick. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to find a funnel with a hose on the end of it because this thing, I, I don't know. I just can't trust that thing. It just, it doesn't fit right. So we'll see. I, I know I'm going to make a mess. I know it. So it says uh, to fill it till the level line. So I'm going to put oil in it. This is not gonna work. This is not gonna work. No, that ain't working. I already got oil everywhere. Good Lord. <laughs> I got no paper towels out here. So, Let's try this. Maybe it'll work. I guess it does work. at a time. Yeah, I got a lot of oil down in there. I'm going to have to, that thing's just full of oil. All right. All right, so <clears throat> that wasn't an easy task. They don't make that opening big enough um, to put the funnel in there very well. So I had to clean it out and get the oil off the bottom and stuff like that. Uh, but I did get it filled up. I will have to go and buy a funnel with a stem so I don't have to turn the generator on its side uh, to fill the oil anymore. So I'm going to buy that. Um, no doubt about that. So... Um, probably get one that has a fill because it's looking like 400 milliliters is where it's at. I'll check it after we run it and start it to make sure the oil is still where it's supposed to be. Um, I did fill it up, not fill it up. I put two and a half gallons of gas in it with the right amount of stabilizer. Uh, as it says, I've never seen anybody put stabilizer in them on the videos that I've watched. They just do it, but it's recommended by the manufacturer. So that's what I did. Um, so now we're going to do the starting phase of this video. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. <laughs> it, sh it should start. I'm hoping it'll start. So here we go. 
All right, let me set you down right there. So starting instructions, it even gives you the, the start guide for starting it, uh, for setting it up, the setup guide for the oil and the uh, uh, fuel. And it also gives you the one for changing out the filter onto the side. So what we're gonna do is nothing's plugged in. Um, I'm going to turn uh, the switch to on. Let me get this over here. This is the on off switch. I'm gonna put this to start and cross your fingers guys, it should start. And then we turn it to run. And that's what it sounds like. It's pushing 124 volts total. As you can see by the display right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. So it's running. One of the things I've got is I've got a heating lamp set up over here for my quail. And as everybody knows, the heating lamps takes up a lot of uh, electricity. So I'm gonna plug this in. I got my heating lamp on over there and it is not pulling hardly nothing. So there you go. And that's compared to generators, that's quiet. If you're inside of a trailer or something like that, that is quiet. So, hey, that's exactly what I wanted. I got it. I'm glad you guys came along for uh, this unboxing. We're gonna shut it down now. Switch off. So there you go. So there you go, guys. Uh, the Predator Generator 3500 works like a charm. Did exactly what it said to do. Filled the oil, filled the gas, put the stabilizer in there. That thing cranked up. What was it? Two cranks and it was started. So first time being ran. I'm sure they ran it at the factory uh, before they shipped it. They had to. I'm hoping they did. Um, but yeah. Hey guys, if you like this video uh, and you'd like to see more of these kind of videos because I've got other products here in the shop uh, that I have not tested out. Uh, leave a comment down there. Drop it down there in the comment section and tell me, hey, hey I want to see more of this or hey, you need to do something else. <laughs> so guys, it's a beautiful day outside. I'm going to spend the rest of the day outside uh, doing farm chores. Hey guys, be kind to one another. Help somebody in need and always, always think of that. Hey, and I want to put a little plug out there. Last night on our live, so many generous people gave super chats. Um, and I think it was like 10 minutes after the live was over, Terry tallied that up. Um, and uh, we sent that money over to our dear friends. Uh, they had lost uh, a bunch of stuff in a fire. Uh, all their kids' clothes, everything over there. So we sent those super chats over there to bless them after you blessed us. And I hope that helps them out in some way. We absolutely love you. You know who you are. Um, and uh, you do so much for so many other people. And it was just the right thing to do. So we love you guys. God bless you. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.